In this video, we're going to find this limit. So whenever you're evaluating limits, the first thing you should always do is take this number and plug it in. So if you plug in zero here, you get sine of zero, which is zero. And if you plug in zero here, you get the tangent of zero, which is also zero. So you get zero over zero. So whenever you have zero over zero or infinity over infinity, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says that you continue to take the limit and what you do is you just take the derivative of each piece. It's super powerful. So let's do that. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So here it'll be cosine of 3x times the derivative of the inside. We have to use the chain rule. So the derivative of 3x is 3 over. And then the derivative of tangent is secant squared. This is secant squared of 4x times the derivative of the inside, which is 4. And now we're at a good place. We're at a place where we can plug in 0. If you're not sure about the secant, uh, let me rewrite it in a way that will make things a little bit more clear. I'll put the 3 in the front. So this is 3 cosine of 3x over. Let's write this as follows. This is really 4 over cosine squared of 4x. You might say, whoa, what happened? Um, secant squared is 1 over cosine squared. And I did this because you might not know what happens when you compute the secant of 0. But you probably know what happens when you compute the cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So this, now you drop the limit sign. It's 3 cosine 0 over 4 over Cosine squared of zero. I'm showing every little step. Ridiculous. Cosine of zero is one. So this is going to be three times one over four over one. So this is just three over four. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.